Okay, it's 4.30, Wednesday morning, the uh, the 6th of June, and it's uh, the transit of Phoenix Day, as you can see. There's a few breaks in the cloud here at the Westby White Hoss, and sunrise here it would be around about 4.50 or thereabouts. So it's got about another 20 minutes or so before sunrise. Uh, I've had to go just over there to get some shots, hopefully through some of these clear gaps when it goes over that way, but... Looking over that way is pretty uh, uh, pretty yuck looking, which isn't too good. Right, uh, it's now quarter to five in the morning, and uh, if you're in North East Scotland or that part of the UK, you should already be able to see the sun if the sky is clear. Uh, we're actually in Wiltshire, uh, and there's a sort of plane here. The sunrise here isn't until about ten to five to ish. Um, got some clear sky heading over towards the hill over there, which is where the sun's going to rise from. Got the camera set up just there. Okay, things aren't looking so good now. That clear sky over there is getting smaller. The sun is, I think, probably just above the horizon, or it's about to come above the horizon. There's a slight sort of red look over there in the clouds. Can't really see it on the phone. But looking the other way, and you can probably hear a bit of wind noise when I do this. There's some low cloud coming away. There is some clear gaps in it, but not not really as big as that gap over there, which is what we need. As you can see above the hill behind us, I'm trying to use a bit like a windbreak. It's pretty fast moving that low cloud. So um, it's going to be hit and miss. If we see the uh, transit of Venus from Wiltshire this morning. I actually got to say, I've got a uh, wet train that's at the moment waiting for this sunrise. It's uh, been raining the day before, and the grass has been quite long, it's quite wet. I've had to walk through quite a bit of it, and my feet are pretty wet. And that wind is pretty cold as well, you wouldn't think it was summertime up here. <laughs> um, still no sign of the sun, and it's now about 5 o'clock. Sunrise at Land's End is at 5.15, so we should already be seeing it, so I'm guessing it's just above those hills in the distance. But the problem is, there's quite a bit of cloud over there, so we can't see it. If you're up in North East Scotland, then you should be able to see it, because it rose up there at 4.15 in the morning. Um, that's obviously if you've got clear skies. Which the weather forecast for most of the UK isn't too great. It's forecasting cloud. Um, like I said, we've got a few clear spells here, but they're rapidly disappearing. So you might be wondering why I've chosen this location to see the, um, the sunrise this morning. Well, one of the main reasons is I, I can't really go that far away from home due to work and stuff like that. Which meant um, trying to find us somewhere local. Uh, the best chance I got of finding uh, a nerdy view, if it wasn't cloudy, like it is at the moment, is somewhere quite high up with a flat horizon, and the best place to do that is up on the edge of the Sportsbeat Plain, which is where I am now, because the hills here are quite high, and as you can see, most of the water heading away from me is quite low, apart from a few hills in the distance. The hill over there, that's the one near Chippenham and Laycock, and the ones over there are the ones near Devizes. So hopefully, which is, that's what they're actually supposed to be rising from the sun. Hopefully, because they're quite far away, quite low down, we should get quite an early few. Fingers crossed. But the, uh, the clear sky, is, as I said just now, is rapidly uh, disappearing. But there is some more blue sky in the way over there, but the problem is, it's a mixture of two cloud levels at the moment. We've got low cloud, which is moving through quite quickly and there's a bit of red sky above us there so we've got low clouds moving through quite quickly and we've also got the high cloud which is taking a little bit longer to go the high cloud's fine because it's quite thin it's not really getting in the way it's the low cloud which is starting to get in the way that cloud up there's red so within the next minute or two if it's not already visible behind those hills if the cloud wasn't there it should effectively be rising but there's too much cloud in that direction not to even see it it's actually now 10 past 5 in the morning um, with, with sunrise it lands in at 5.15 
I'm pretty confident it would have risen here now. Um, but the cloud is not really letting up on that horizon, so we can't see anything. But that said, it's now a nice big area of uh, clear sky going over, but it's not heading to the right area. We want it over where the camera's now pointing, but it's heading over to our right a bit more. Okay, it's quarter past five now, and there's a gap forming just above the hills over there. Um, I'm pretty sure the sun is actually shining now above the horizon, just we can't see it because of the cloud. Um, with it being quarter past uh, five in the morning, that's the time it was due to rise at Land's End. So I'm pretty sure it's there. I've got my fingers crossed on that small gap over there, hopefully getting near the horizon, and hopefully as it does, getting a bit bigger. If it does, I try and grab a couple of shots of it on the camera. And I think we might be in for a chance of seeing the sun in a few seconds. Okay, the bad news is that someone somewhere in the orchard down there is getting a view of the sun which we're not getting. And those beams of sunlight is now actually moving away from us. And there's now one solitary uh, shaft of light coming from that clear bit of sky. Moving across Wiltshire towards the visors. But we haven't seen it yet. Not too sure how this shows up on the phone, but the clouds over there are intensely bright. And the reason why they're intensely bright is because they contain ice crystals, which are acting like a mirror. They're actually reflecting the sunlight towards us. It's actually making the hillside look very bright, but the problem is, it's all very well seeing that on any day, but that's not what we're interested in today. And as I speak, I can see some sun rays coming back out the clouds over there, and annoyingly, they are pointing towards parts of Wiltshire below the hillside. 40 and the sun is now rising behind the cloud and we've got some video footage of it using the solar filter. Okay, uh, it's now 5.50. So in the next few minutes, Venus should have left the sun. Um, I'm just clicking hoping that we get some shots because it's now getting quite hard to see. Shots I'm taking that's quite dark actually with the, uh, with the clouds going across it, so I'm just clicking and hoping that we get something. It's great as I'd like it to be because the cloud it's shining through is quite wishy washy, it's making the images look very blurry looking. And now the sun's sinking behind the clouds. It's uh, just coming up to 6 o'clock now, it's about 2 minutes to 6. So, um, Venus should have just left uh, the sun's disc now. Um, so that was the transit of Venus, the sun did appear, we saw the disc, I think, of uh, Venus on the sun's disc, it's like a tiny little black dot, like a full stop, you might call it a full stop, and it's already on the edge of the sun where we saw it because the sun didn't appear until literally in the last 10 minutes or so. Um, the funny thing is that uh, it's now completely clear up here, apart from these high clouds now. It's one of these high clouds which is actually getting in the way. Um, it's been a problem we've had all day since we go up here in the early hours of the morning to see the sunrise. It's, it's been low cloud, too much low cloud, clear gaps. Um, it's been hard to see the sun and then sun rose behind the clouds and we managed to get a glimpse of what I think was Venus on the uh, camera here, for the so filter on it. But it's been it's shining through these wispy clouds just making the images not very clear but I'd rather have an image that's not very clear than not see it at all so I'm not completely happy but I'm much happier now than I was when I first got here and it just didn't seem to go going away at all um, so what I'm going to do now is go home and have a look for the images and see if I can spot Venus on the images um, the funny thing is there's actually quite a nice clean spot of um, sky now between those two dark bits of cloud and the sun's not there. <laughs> uh, never mind. We saw the sun. Okay, it's now six o'clock in the morning. I'm going to pack up now and, and head home. So, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you should hopefully be seeing some images or have seen some images that I've just taken. I've taken a bit of video as well, 
when there's not much chance of me seeing it, just to, to get the motion of the clouds moving in front of the sun. But yeah, that was it. The sun, that's actually, it's, now the sun's gone behind that cloud, it's actually gotten quite chilly. It's quite warm in that uh, sunshine. Yeah. So there you go. I won't be around next time that happens. That was the uh, transit of Venus on the 6th of June, 2012. The sun is actually shining out from the top of the cloud now. I've got some footage on the uh, on the camera of it video. Obviously, we're not going to be able to see the transit of Venus until that cloud sinks down a bit more. Okay, it's a. Uh, 5.40 and I've just taken some pictures of the sun through the cloud there and I think I can see Venus through the solar filter on the top right of the image. It's not very clear I must admit because we are looking through some high level cloud. But it looks like the planet Venus is almost completely off the disk or at least it will be soon. Fifth, we just check some images. We do still have a very slight bump in the upper right corner of the sun's disk, so Venus is still on the disk, it's moving off the disk, but it's still very slightly there.